If you had to live in a country other than the United States for whatever reason, where would you live and why? Thailand. Um, they have one of the best surfing waves that go forever. And in Thailand, with $20, you can pretty much live like a king. I would go to Canada with my other sister, um, Tati. I would probably live somewhere really remote, like in the Solomon Islands or Sumatra or one of the places where Western society didn't have as much influence. So there was no technology, there was no Snapchat and all the crap that people deal with this today. Just for a while, I might just want to remove myself and go see what it was like to live somewhere else where it wasn't like the American dream. Uh, Tahiti? Because it's so beautiful, like the ocean. I guess like Ireland seems pretty cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think I would live in Mexico uh, because my family is from Mexico. I still have family in Mexico. I speak the language and it would just be an easier process for me to adapt to the changes than if I were to live somewhere where I wouldn't understand the language. Uh, probably something like Canada because they're quite very similar to what we have so I'd be more familiar with their type of government. Japan because that's where my ancestors are. Savai'i, Western Samoa, because I can build my own fale and I can have my own fish pond. Oh, Kingdom of Hawaii, better taxes. Probably Japan. <laughs> okay. I would go to Canada. Um, I would definitely live in England and I would live in London. Yeah, we visited there last summer and just it was super clean, super pretty, like just all the history. Um, everyone was super friendly and obviously they speak English so it's easy to just transition right in there. But yeah, London was amazing. London for sure, same as Cody, because they speak English, they dress really well, um, everyone's really friendly, the city's gorgeous, easy to get around. Definitely Portugal. It's everywhere you go, it's like a postcard and the people celebrate life every day. But for the weather, I would be down in some Latin American country, maybe Costa Rica or somewhere down there where it's kind of like Hawaii. I would live in Indonesia because I love the culture, I love the surf, and it's beautiful and warm. I would say I would live in Japan. I enjoyed my time when I went to Japan. I enjoyed, I mean, I know on the work end how strict and stressful and all that stuff is, but I don't know, I just feel really good, really right when I when I was in Japan. I would go straight to New Zealand because it's beautiful, the people are beautiful, and they're so nice, and it's amazing. Really good food, uncrowded, lovely scenery, they have really good salmon and wine and the men. Lately, you know, I've been very interested in, in Dubai. I don't know what it is, but Dubai is a beautiful country too. I mean, you know, you got the, the new Dubai and you got the old Dubai. And for some reason, I'll, you know, like I want to go there and visit and maybe someday maybe want to live there. I would go to Canada, actually. I visited there, um, not Montreal, um, but um, the, uh, I. Toronto, Toronto, Vancouver. Toronto, Vancouver, or Nova Scotia, probably Nova Scotia. The people are so kind there, and they're so nice, and it's beautiful. That's probably where I go. Probably Brazil. I was going to say Japan at one time, too, but with some of the disasters that have happened there, uh, probably not. I would live in Samoa. I've been going there my whole life. But Western or American? Western Samoa. My parents are both from there. But my parents never allowed me to stay there because I was under 18. But I've always wanted to move back and live in the country because it's it's free. Nobody's there. I mean, like, you own your own land. You don't have to really pay bills. All you do is party at night, work in the morning, and just live off the land. Like, really live off the land. Out of the countries I've been to, I'll probably pick Jamaica. Just because the music vibe there is, like, no other in the world. Have you guys been to Jamaica? No. Maybe Tahiti or something. There's something about um, 
me being Hawaiian, there's something about going to another Polynesian place and seeing them with roots and, you know, I don't have very many roots because we're American now. So it would be kind of nice to see uh, an adaptive version of what my ancestors did. I would probably live in uh, UK. I will probably live in England. Uh, my family lives there. My mom's side of family lives there, so I probably would end up living with them. Norway. It's mm. cold, but it's gorgeous. It would have to be a warm country. <laughs> Absolutely warm. Like my first thought is England, but it's kind of cold there, and that would only be because they share the same language, and I wouldn't have to learn another language. New Zealand. New Zealand. You know what? Yes. Good answer. New Zealand. I like other people's answers. Brazil. Brazil, Brazil, Sao Paulo, the women, the food, the culture, uh, and it's so like less expensive than here. <laughs> uh, you know, you can stretch out your money and still live a really, really good life. Uh, I'm not really sure about the favelas, you know, I'm not, I'm, if, you, if you're seeing this and you be like, hey, we recognize this guy, I have nothing against you, but I mean, hey, just letting you know, but Brazil is definitely. Um, I would say Canada. I really, really like uh, Vancouver and I have to go somewhere that speaks English. If you live in a country other than Australia, where would you go and why? That's easy. For me, it would be the United States of America, Hawaii. It was already my second country. I, don't, I think I'd like to live out in the highlands of Scotland. Okay. It's just the beautiful scenery and, you know, it's isolated. I think I would choose Germany. I lived in Germany for about three years and I really love the culture. Italy or Spain or or uh, Canada. I would try to go out in Africa because uh, Africa, you know, there's two continents. Africa, you know, there's the blacks and then there's white people also live there. And then yeah, there's the ocean. I heard the nice beaches over here, but just just to uh, live in Africa and, and just explore the, the safari would be a good good trip.